Hi students, uh, today we'll be taking a, a very important MCQ for your NEET PG which is related to neonatal resuscitation. So in the last five years what has changed in the neonatal resuscitation is the few guidelines which came in 2015 and the first question which this question came in your NEET PG in 2018 the question was which limb is used for saturation monitoring in a newborn. So remember which limb is preductal the question was which limb is preductal so remember the right upper limb is preductal which means that if you look at your heart and your body the right hand the right subclavian artery usually divides before the ductus so remember the right upper limb is always preductal so it's a convention whenever we have a newborn who comes to us and he requires some resuscitation we will put a saturation probe on the right upper limb now the lower limbs are post ductal so you will put on the lower limbs so we look at the difference in the saturation in the right upper limb and the lower limb so remember right upper limb is pre ductal and lower limbs are post ductal now another question came in your last year's neat pg was what is the three minute target for saturation in newborns so again they were emphasizing on what is new in the neonatal resuscitation guidelines and the answer here was 70 to 75 percent so what I would like to highlight here is guys remember now there is a target of the pre ductal saturation targets after birth so whenever a baby requires some ventilation baby is sick will put a saturation probe on the right hand pre ductal and the one minute target is 60 to 65 percent two minute target is 65 to 70 percent and the three minute which they asked in the need pg is 70 to 75 percent four minutes is 75 to 80 percent and almost at 10 minutes you'll get the typical saturation of 85 to 95 percent now remember a lot of things have changed in the last years neonatal resuscitation so remember whenever a baby is born all of you you need to ask yourself three questions term tone crying so they'll ask you three questions term tone crying and if the answer is yes you can just do routine care child stays with the mother and only if required you need to position the airway now suppose the answer is no now you look at the temperature airway breathing and circulation okay so t a b c is our next step okay so remember term tone crying now this algorithm also came in your last two weeks back in your aims exam also so if after the routine steps baby is in apnea so remember if a baby is in apnea after the routine steps you put the baby on positive pressure ventilation okay so what is the first indication of positive pressure ventilation baby is in apnea or gasping after the initial steps okay if the baby is breathing but the baby is having labored breathing then you will give some oxygen may need CPAP and put a pulse oximeter so again now there's a more and more emphasis on putting a pulse oximeter okay so if baby is sick here or breathing well but labored breathing not breathing put up pulse oximeter and now what is new is to consider ecg monitoring is in all of these patients so auscultation is not very important not very good enough so now there is some emphasis on ecg monitoring okay now you look at the increase in the heart rate so remember this question also came in aims exam the adequacy of ventilation is guided by increase in the heart rate so next 15 seconds look at whether the heart rate is improving or not if the heart rate is not improving after 15 seconds you still continue positive pressure ventilation okay so heart rate is not improving you looked uh, it was not improving so you look at the chest movement okay you may see whether there is a problem in your uh, fixing uh, ventilation corrective steps you continue positive pressure ventilation now if heart rate is below 60 now this is an indication of intubation starting chest compressions ecg monitoring 
okay so remember now uh, they also emphasize on now you may need to intubate if a child requires uh, chest compressions you may need to intubate him okay so this is the whole guideline which you need to keep it in your heart it's very important okay and remember whenever we do positive pressure ventilation we do it at a rate of 40 to 60 per minute of bag and mask whenever we give chest compressions if heart rate is below 60 we give chest compressions we give a chest compressions at a rate of around 90 in a minute so remember in a minute we are doing almost 120 events 90 chest compressions and 30 bag and mass ventilation so these are 90 plus 30 almost 120 events okay so i can bet on this you will get a question on this in the next year's neat pg so please remember this algorithm my name is siddharth sethi and i would uh, advise if you have time uh, you you've been following us on facebook just look at the hashtag dr siddharth sethi on the dams club you'll find a lot of updates by me on that and i'm also on facebook i have a page pdf for pg i wish you all the best thank you